Hey you guys, I have a Breezy versus Reddit update. So um, I'm very entertained by all the comments saying that I shut Reddit down. Like one person with a small channel is capable of shutting a whole Reddit down. Um, <laughs> it's actually not my fault. And we're going to talk about this right now. I, I find this all funny, by the way. Like everybody who's sending me kind comments worried about me. Like I'm okay. I find this funny. Um... I want to point out that there's entire communities dedicated to covering posts on Reddit and um, what people are saying. So me covering something on a public platform shouldn't have this many people crying. It really shouldn't. Um, they were saying that I'm stealing their content. Well, aren't they covering foodies? So, I mean, come on, you guys. Anyways, so... Um, I've read dozens and dozens of comments of people saying like, you know, fine, whatever you think about Breezy, all fine and dandy, but you're punishing us whenever somebody covers the Reddit and you guys close it up. Like you're punishing the members in the community and um, we're going to see the response. So the first comment we're going to read says, Breezy will come back whenever it's unprivated. So that won't help anything. And why are people upset over more exposure? Maybe there's some upset people, but why does that override the purpose of the sub and lock out normal subs? Because if you don't like a creator using it as lazy content, it doesn't hurt the sub having a creator make YouTube videos with the content. I don't understand why that's enough to shut down the whole sub. We Feed the Fire responded, look, it wasn't my decision. I found out after the fact myself, so I can't answer these questions. What I can say is that after the last video, we got hit with multitudes of BS reports on every post and comment made on the sub. We were brigaded by VIBs or whoever that decided to abuse the report function and ended up having to do hours of work to sort through it. This is on the heels of the last shutdown and Chantal coming for us that required we spend hours cleaning up the sub and reviewing content that could lead us to its permanent removal by Reddit. Adding to that, the constant stream of DMs from people upset about being targeted and trying to demand the mods be held accountable for their own posts, being publicized. It's just a lot. New mods have been added to help. More will be added soon as well. In the meantime, the closure is temporary. Let's look at this comment. So, not as brightly lit said, Brigading, a tsunami of reports and or threats by Foodie Beauty. All of that I can understand as reasons to take the sub down for safety and cleanup. And I appreciate the work mods do. I can't understand shutting it to keep Breezy from stealing screenshots, though. The reason most of us have heard is causing this recent shutdown. Everyone does that. And it's not going to stop. If there could be a little more communication as to what's going on, I think it would lessen the stress for mods and users alike. Um, let's see. Let me scroll up. Then they start arguing, you guys, that mods aren't getting paid for their work, yada, yada, yada. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show this because um, it just goes to show you one person can say something just because they don't like you and incite a bunch of hate and harassment. And I mean, you should see the comments I've got. And um, even from somebody I really didn't expect it from on Twitter, um, really, really upset and going at me saying, I'm the reason it shut down. You guys, one person with a channel of 9,000 subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you. I'm saying, but one person with the audience, like the channel size that I have, I cannot do that. Um, so many people, there's so many channels, you guys, that cover stories and, and what people are saying on Reddit and uh, funny posts. Um, there's a whole community for it. And uh, those people don't get Reddit shut down. Those people are okay to do it. Why is it just not okay if Breezy dies it? Anybody else can screenshot. Anybody else can talk about the Foodie Beauty Reddit other than Foodie Beauty herself or me, the two people they talk about. I'll say it again. Word of advice, if you want to 
remain anonymous. Don't use an obvious username. Don't use the same username everywhere. And don't say something online that you wouldn't say to somebody's face, especially on a public platform. If you want to have private conversations that nobody ever can stumble across, I suggest you do it in the DMs. Reddit is a huge platform. Anybody can stumble across what you say anytime, especially on Twitter. Private your accounts or talk in DM. I'm not taking anything from you guys, Foodie Beauty Reddit. What am I actually taking from you? If anything, more people have said, oh, I didn't know Foodie Beauty had, I didn't know there was a Reddit. And more people have came to you. I'm not hurting anybody by covering what you what you post. And if you're that worried about what you say, maybe you should think twice about what you say and how you say it and where you say it. 